Hello everybody, this is Kevin with Inspiring How You See That. We're the channel that talks about music, news, entertainment, inspirational stories, and much more. So we've had a lot of uh, feedback about uh, some helpful tips um, that we do periodically too, a little bit different from our uh, interviews and music uh, side of things. And we always like to help all you YouTubers and also editors out there with some of the things that we run into and some of the things that we find that are easier uh, within editing. So I'm going to get right into DaVinci Resolve here and we're going to talk about uh, some of the volume settings and uh, how to use multi cameras right after our intro. Okay, we're back. So we're gonna we're on DaVinci uh, Resolve here, and as you see, this was an interview that uh, Brian uh, did with uh, Reality Suite, and we had uh, two cameras. Sometimes we have uh, two, three, four cameras, uh, depending upon uh, the location and the settings. And sometimes we may use one, and we'll get into you know a little bit of those helpful tips maybe later on. So today we're going to be talking about the DaVinci Resolve. Uh, this is the free program that you can use. You can also uh, pay for the uh, paid uh, platform which has a lot more options within that and we'll talk about that maybe in another segment uh, just let us know in the comments if there's something that uh, we can help you out with not only with DaVinci Resolve maybe OBS anything like that out there and we have always appreciated all the other youtubers out there that have helped us in the past too as well so we're kind of passing on a little bit of that information to you option many options through DaVinci Resolve as far as with the multi-camera combining them and you know, getting the sound settings to set within their own settings, meaning it puts together, if you have two cameras, three cameras, whatever you may have, it actually listens to the segment and matches them and puts them into a multi-cam folder setting. Now, we can talk about that and show you some of that in a later video, but right now we're gonna talk about some of the easiest things and I wanted to get into the easiest setting as far as how to set it without doing that. So let's start, you see here on uh, the page that I have open, there's actually two cameras within this interview. So what I basically do here is, you can see the sound settings on the one camera is picking up the sound a lot higher than the other because the sound settings on the camera, uh, the camera is actually a little further away than the other. So what you basically do is you turn up the volume on, let's say it's camera one, you go into your audio and then you turn up the volume for that, uh, that one there. So go ahead and turn up that volume. So what you wanna do is you wanna look at the, the EQ lines, match them up to the other one that's above you know your camera let's say it's camera two or main camera like it says here main camera so you you match up your eqs and you put them together so you'll move over the one get that set to where you see that the sound settings as you see the the the, the bars are almost exactly where they need to be now in, in davinci which is really nice is you can actually zoom in very very um in depth as far as with the EQ so you can zoom in pretty far so if there's something you can't see I'll uh, I'll show you that so we'll zoom in here now we have zoomed in and you can see uh, it's kind of hard to show you here with the recording um, on split screens because usually when I use um, DaVinci Resolve I have uh, two screens showing um, but I wanted to try to make this as simple for you guys here as you can see we're Pretty good lined up now if you can't see the eq as high on the other one and you want to zoom in this line in particular you can always uh turn up the volumes more on that and that kind of zooms it in so you can see where the eq is so what you do is you can see that these are pretty much um, close to being uh, lined up here Go ahead and you push play and you would listen to your settings and if they sound uh, very very close you also look at the wording and make sure that the, the the lip movement and the wording and the gestures and everything are all coordinated into the um, the video and they line up perfectly 
So that's a pretty easy setting, pretty uh, quick to do. I actually don't uh, prefer doing the multi-cam. It seems to be whenever you get into that. And that, like I said, we'll show you that in a different video. Some of you may like to use the multi-cam um, combination in DaVinci. Um, you can tell us, you know, what you think. Maybe there's something that uh, that you like better or you'd like to see, and we can kind of try to help you out with that. And that's, that's what we like to do here on, um, you know, inspiring how you see that is not only uh, we do inspirational stories through the, the music, the news, and the entertainment, but we also like to help out on little things like this. And, you know, we know there's a lot of editors out there and we got a lot of feedback uh, with our other uh, helpful tips uh, video. So again, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe. Uh, keep an eye out. We'll be doing maybe one or two of these a month to try to help uh, anybody out there that's uh, using DaVinci Resolve or OBS. And, you know, in the past, we appreciated all the other YouTubers that have helped us out too as well. And that's why we do this. We like to help out uh, up and coming, uh, you know, editors and, you know, anybody doing YouTube. If this helps you out, just let us know. Uh, throw in some comments in there if there's something on here that's, uh, you know, really helped you out or you're stuck in. Uh, maybe we'll do another uh, video. There's there's so much with uh, DaVinci Resolve that uh, the, they have to offer there, and we can always try to help you guys out there. Some of the things, you know, we find that work easier, and uh, you may find that, uh, you know, a totally different uh, procedure may help you better, but uh, these are some of the things that, uh, you know, have helped us quickly through interview editing if there's multi-cameras. So, again, we thank you for stopping by, and we'll see you next time.